Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, this morning we are so grateful unto you. We appreciate all the good things that you have done unto us. Your blessings, your protection, your sustenance, your guidance, and everything that comes from you, O oh God. We have received nothing from nowhere but from you. And so you deserve to be praised. Come and speak to your people. Let us meet you, O God, in your word. We trust that you'll be with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. This morning we are going to... War. We are going to battle. There is a contest in front of us. There is a conflict that we are going to go through. And we are going to do it not with our might, but with the help of the Lord. Let's have when the saints go marching in. Yet to him 174. We are reminding ourselves what we are supposed to do. Yet to you media kaka ya won't de chase ye. Hallelujah. I'm a pilgrim man a stranger.
fair check on Chrome. We we'll read some scriptures before we sit down. We are reminding ourselves what is supposed, what we are supposed to do. What is ahead of us that we have even forgotten? Ah, yeah, you're ready. Let's start with Revelation chapter 12. You quite this same. It's a dummy. This um, Revelation chapter 12. This empty to me. No, no. Let's start from verse 10 to 12. Free Chichimu, a do, a cosy to me. Namiti, a nickasia or sro, sir, and quite any to me, and ya, hini, aye, yan copon, dear. Now, a hoarding, aye, Christo, no, dear. Amen. If he said, What two yen yanum am not to two for no action, or no more to two one, I know ye yan coupon and him a via and yana. So now one of my German or moja, anyone a dance here in Assam so Assam no so, a di one so, a dinner so, and could name Amen. Now one slow, so will be woe. Amen. In tea or slow, any more mutitimono. Amen. As I see any apple, and yet, which you know, Bibia, as I see so tiff war, the inhabitants of the earth, Amen. as I see so tiff war, hmm? oh, mm -mm. Yenti osuru ene mu amuti mu muti timu no mama mo bon tomu yem asasi so tifuo ene epumu enu e amen efiso bon sam asani aba munchen na wa fa bufuo kesi efiso onim se ne bra owo etia amen we are reading revelation chapter 12 verse 10 to 12 and i heard a loud voice saying in heaven now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. Amen. I'm sure I'm speaking to the inhabitants of the earth. Those on online and those present here. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. How many of us here are Included in the inhabitants of the earth. So the Bible is telling you and I that woe unto us. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. When you are, somebody tells you, woe unto you. So be catch say, dear. Let us not forget this word. Inhabitants of the earth. We the inhabitants of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, Please take your seat. I feel waiting me at us. God bless you. A radin shrub. And a pair of a cook. This morning we are at war. Very, very short. We are at a battlefront, but it's gonna be a very short battle. No, be a sorry, I know a pra pra or home foot you know. Now call baby. So after this battle, you can get up and, and just shove up the dust on you and go wherever you want to go. It's a great conflict. A more thing. It's a very strong one. Very short this morning. Then sweet to your pan or pay. I have to reserve my voice for a voice of God recording tomorrow. God willing. So be praying for me. Good. Hey, oh, cool. It's a battle. Brofu kasano. Mami ke bo ninyina. Battle. Amen. Oko. War. Entokwa. Contest. Akensi. Conflict. Apreprie. Fighting. Entokwa. 
struggle. Say, oh, do be there, prayer, prayer. Nini na dawenim? E dawenim? Nini na, they are all before you. Don't forget even one of them. Once you are an inhabitant of this earth, so he has as you sit in India. You are bound to struggle. You are bound to fight. You are bound to war. There is a contest ahead of you. You have a conflict that you are involved. Many times we forget. And we take things for granted. I'm part of it and you're also part of it. Many times we forget. And we take it out of our minds. It's as if we have come to the earth to just relax and enjoy ourselves. We have ourselves. forgotten that the word of God is telling us woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Yes, we have forgotten that the word of God is telling us woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Greatest battle ever fought. The contest. I can see it. And somewhere a woman, brother, sister. If you combine those two messages that was pre that were preached by the prophet, there were a lot of information in it. And then you realize where you are. And you would understand certain things. And you know, you know how to do your things. Then you throw away certain things that are unnecessary. And then you focus and concentrate on the things that are necessary. Because woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. And then and say, uh, Bogoso, there is a village near Mantini, and say, a PAT chose the baby. A PAT. A PAT. Said, yes, you know. Look at what happened at that A PAT in Bogoso. Unknowingly, nobody is thinking about that. And all of a sudden, boom! Obia Adrian, now somebody answer, be be a jiji, boom! Kromo, I hine kura, I'm saying, be a no wada. I'm sure even the chief of that township was asleep. Because there was no war in the town. Maybe because it was in the afternoon, maybe he was even enjoying his meal. He was not expecting anything like that. So all of a sudden, my village is going to be devastated. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. There is nothing that we, we can take for cheap over here. Short. I'm, and I mean, I'm 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 those of you young girls and boys who are preparing to get married and those who married not so long ago. I wish you had stayed there just as you are. I tell you the truth. I can't cry I'm not the one telling you. The, the Holy Spirit is coming through Paul. I wish you had stayed just as you were. The realities of marriage was not told to you. If it's a warrior, you can't tell me. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Ne, ye, katila mu ni nina. Ni deni ni fenu nkwa. All the things that were told to you were the sweet parts of marriage. First Corinthians chapter 7. 25 to 28. Corinthians 4, mama, I did kind. Corinto Fong or my dear. But don't make me there, mommy. I mean, here in this one can come on. Corinto Fong or my dear. Yeah. Ah, gee. Mommy, gee, why, Mr. Ramo? The inhabitants of the earth, as I see so tiffo, then I get yes, I see so. Those are men, and you are cool. We are inhabitants of the earth. We are at war. We are going through a whole lot of trials, persecutions. Oh, kid him, Mr. Mo. First Corinthians, Abba. Hmm. 
First Corinthians 7, 20. Verse 25. 25. Okay. Now, one one worry, yeah, one dear. Me near Radia said, ye biara. Now, so may come my genie. Say, Obia, a Radimo bro, who am I on a Now, concerning virgins, I have no commandment of the Lord. Yet I give my judgment as one that had obtained mercy of the Lord to be faithful. The Holy Spirit is not speaking lies. The he said that he is faithful. 26. I suppose, therefore, that this is good for the present distress. I say that it is good for a man to so be. I'm not the one speaking here. Maybe you might think that I'm married and I'm preventing you from getting married. I'm not the one speaking here. What 27 you own? Cabra 26 man view. 26. 26. Hey. Jamie Susu said, Yenny, sir. Say, say, I'm Yenty. A Yamo de Passa or Tanahosa. I suppose, therefore, that this is good for the present distress. I say that it is good for a man so to be. Mm. 27. Obata or Irewana. And she shall so be jay our dear. What's son of whom I feel a Irewana? And she shall hear as thou bound unto a wife, mm. seek not to be loosed. As thou loose from a wife, seek not a wife. Twenty-eight. Nasa wun swa. Unye boni. Hallelujah. Amen. Unja man kase boni. So they are making a nanka who ya ajima no akusi boni. So who are in Susua? And your boni. So you realize that I'm not telling you something bad. You almost took my words. Oba kunu waria. Onye boni. Na wanga waye sano. Ehumbe hiye hiya wahu na mu. One hour warrior. I worry for no. So, one out to our own count. Now, one more, one more warrior. One who be here, one who numb. Sister, brother, our Do you think it's easy to get married or to be married? But, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But now, me dear, Please, verse no, 28. No, no. 28, please. Mm. But I spare you. So, 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 um, you don't want to be spared nji, of this trouble. Nji, nji, so, so you want to get married? Na, na se and if you get married, na se and you are married, now you want to dodge there those troubles. No, there is no well dodged in this. Why would you have a man? I'm going to show you. Come on, Dad. Because my father, I'm going to go to the 
Paul is saying through the Holy Spirit that he wanted to spare us of this trouble in the flesh. But you already got yourself into it. The How greatest can... battle ever fought. The inhabitants of the earth. A bass are beautiful so. We normally forget about it. Pimpiani Refi. There was a warning red light, and you ignore the red light. Have you forgotten that there was a warning that there would be all this trouble, and you ignored it and went into marriage, and you now want to dodge them? The greatest battle ever fought. It started in heaven. Started in heaven. The chassis was true. Those engaged in the fight could not keep their place in heaven. So, Master, are so go down. So they told them that they cannot keep doing that in the heavens. They were sent down. He told to us, so. When he was coming and he, when he came, bro, free stroke and now bedroom. Then the warning was given to the inhabitants of the earth. And after he bought us as his duty for Nkoko. Whoa! Unto you and I. To us, me no me and you. But that transition here, oh. Now, I want you to sit up. Sit up. Because there and are things that we forgot. And then we are wasting time fighting for things that we don't, that don't deserve. It's as if I am your enemy and you are also another person's enemy. I'm not your enemy. And you are not my enemy. I have no battle or fight to do with you. I have not insulted you. If someone has spoken ill about me to you and your mind about or your concept about me has changed, pray to God to have mercy on you. It's part of that conflict. It's part of that conflict. As of for ministers, we are at the battlefront. Pulpit, standing behind this pulpit, is not an easy thing. And Papua and Kowo, now you are forced to do no gram. Many times you are forced to put your legs, your feet into a shoe that does not fit you because you are standing behind the pulpit. Sanse we do not pronounce chinti. and they will dress you with what doesn't fit you and when you complain you ask to just keep quiet because you are behind the pulpit what you don't know what you've not heard is already going round about you it's all part of the battle ministers There's no explanation you can give to it. But how far your name has been defamed, you can't go that far. part of the struggle, the conflict, the battle, the war. That's all if they are not able to fight or conquer oh. you as a minister they begin to attack your children our pastor has really been in battle and I've not gone halfway of the battle he's gone through he's really gone through a lot but don't forget Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And we are living on this earth. 
behind I was as he saw no. Tenant agreement. If you are ready, share one some no no. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. You rented a house or an apartment, a room on the earth, and you were given a tenant agreement, and because of that, woe unto you. I rather mean pie bonus and the sister or margin. My prayer, Lord, is that you transform the, the minds of your Change children. Change our minds today. Everybody says, say, Adrian. Renew our minds. And now we are for fraud. Transform our minds. Say, say, Adrian. Make up for who bend you. Metamorphosize. Metamorphosize our mind. Everybody says, say, Adrian. Obi, you have no name, Lisa. Many people don't understand it that way. And some Men people also know it. But they just decided to Because our reality, what is your problem? Why don't you want you to get married? Hey! Are we supposed to approach marriage with, with a conflict? Can you have are we not supposed to submit ourselves? So what the 20, 25 years now for Maria? When you do 40 years, 45, 50 years old. When you do how? And you come out here, what on? What name? So if you are getting you married, you only know up to 20, 25, 18, 19. How now? What name? Copy him. You are only about 25 years, and that's how much years you have experienced in the earth. You don't know what's ahead of you at the age of 40, 50, and above. I'm not here to. I'm not here to intimidate you. Nancy, so see a pill, see a pill. Once we are the inhabitants of the earth, whether you like it or not, there's nothing you can do about it. We just have to say it as it is. Ah, but now we got them all. Now we can't tell us. Inhabitants of the earth. As I said, so too full. So you see, of course, I want to be able to come here and come here and say, I'm not going to If we even want to talk about the conflict in marriages, we can't even exalt them today. What do you want to me? Are you, Tio? Well, Dodge. You can dodge it. Now, I want to be able to come here and come here. But what about your children? How do you protect them? Why do you want to be able to come here? Sister, brother. And they... In our time, if you don't have children, won't you? And if you have children too, won't you? If you only have one kid, you still have trouble. You have a battle. If you don't have children at all, you are still at war. If you only have one word, you still have a war. You um, hmm. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay, okay. They are comparing your, your child to a goat. Ah. Okay. Yes, to a goat. Um, a lamb. Lamb. Or even a sheep. Sheep. Now one will be an Indian cast Just because you have one one child, they insult you. So after you had one one kid, they, they began to insult you in a different way. So what kind of world do we live in? What kind of world do we live in? Whether you go forward or you go back, no matter what you want to do. Brother, sister, but what did they make an answer? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Do you know where the word of God is taking you to? If you have a big head, they insult you. If you have a small head, they will insult you. We are not lips, you know, the two lips. Say They will insult you. I ain't get to a swa. 
It's your sound so swell. If they are small lips, they will still insult you. Now when you so swear. What about your eyes? So when you so swear. If you have the, the eyes. Lip, please, and yeah, you're too. They will insult you just because you have big eyes, as if you've been blown out. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth! As I say, so if you are moony, netu ya flat in the area. If you have a flat bat, they will insult you. And two hundred so so so, as if toilet in kuwa. Sebi. And you know, the inhabitants of the earth condition your woman and your sister. So sometimes these things are funny, but in reality, they are not. You don't take care, you keep fighting every day of your life. So, any whole face for foot to be said. If you are dirty, they will insult you about how dirty you are. If you are neat, they will still complain about you. Inhabitants of the earth. As I say so till four. What you call more bobo? If you are if you drive in your own vehicle, won't you? You know, Danny car, car you dump. Yeah, that come. Do we sleep in the car? Danny car. You see people oh, talking oh, about oh, you oh, in your car. Can you that in the car and then drive at the same time? You can't sleep. And be driving. Hey, did you? It's actually an Whoa, insult. Whoa, they are actually yes, insulting you. What kind of world is this? Go unto the inhabitants of the earth. As I say, to for money. What are you doing? I'm from Futuro, Musa, and in Papua, I'm from Futuro, 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 Futuro. They will be complaining about the shoes that you have, about how dusty they are. Having they told you some of these things, then maybe you are fortunate. Haven't you been insulted because of how dusty your shoes might be? Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Assassins for a moon ray. They will just say to your face that you to get married and let's see and give birth to children. I'm sure that day you will eat. You don't take care. Some of the things that you hear, you might not even eat. You might Sister, lose brother, your appetite for food. The inhabitants of the earth. As I say, so take four. The inhabitants of the earth. As I say, so take four. So can hold here. If you are part of them, can I come at all? Yeah. Then just calm down. Can I come at all? Yeah. Calm down. Me say, can I come at all? Yeah. I say, calm down. The one who told you those things is not his fault. Who now you read fi kokoba? It's rather you who are the one who has forgotten what God told you when you come to live in the earth. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord be gracious greatly unto us. Especially for us, the believers. Message believers. Can't say more GD4. Message believers. And can't say more GD4. Brother, sister. You cannot exempt yourself. Every one of us is part of it. The inhabitants of the earth. If you are not part of the inhabitants of the earth, then we know you are not part.
So then what should we do? They will attack you. They will attack your children. They will attack your wife. They will They will come to you and they will, they will be asking, haven't you heard of what is going on? What, what, what haven't they heard? You want to be part of it. So these things that God spoke of, that would happen. You want to be a, a partaker. Every test of the earth, woe unto them. You want to increase the woe. You see what you're doing? We have been warned. And then people have been assigned to do these things. And then you just went to write your name. Then you surely receive a reward. You will receive a reward for those things. Because that is what you've decided to do. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. As as is it for Munye. I ask me an example. Let us me an example. Where? O A. That's the spelling of woe. Woe. W O E. This is sin. S I N. Just like the spelling of sin. And near my shall woe, Munu. But the things that are within that word. Sister woe, brother. Whenever we go down on our knees, we should ask God for mercy to be able to go through those walls. If you don't have understanding, don't get into marriage. And you won't go out now. You can stay alone. And if you think you are too wise, don't get into marriage. And don't get into marriage if you are foolish. It's not everything that can be achieved with money. Money cannot achieve everything. Money cannot buy or achieve everything. everything. Because the money is there. But brother, sister, you may get the drug, the medicine, from the pharmacy shop. But by the time you return, oh my, the life has been taken away. Many times you go to the Whoa. hospital, you have people, they would prescribe Whoa. medications for them. If you have money, you can go and purchase them. But by the time you return, you would have lost their life already. So you will be a little more deeper. Stay alone. If you are wicked, don't marry. Just live alone. A little more day. If you are wicked, stay alone. On Quantana. Because there is a war. There is a battle. There is a conflict. There is a struggle in marriage on this earth. Inhabitants of the earth. Woe unto you. Now, if you don't have a job, I know what corner you're different. Your conflict, your battle is on a different level. And so I walk on, uh, it's still part of the battle. Mm -hmm. Some people can endure these things, mm -hmm. joblessness. Mm -hmm. Some people cannot endure joblessness. Mm -hmm. If you see people going to work all the time, they come back and still meet you in the house. You have a battle to fight. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. 
Is it good to be employed on this earth or to be unemployed? There is a greater conflict. Wherever you work, there's something going on. There's a battle there to fight. The people that you are working with, the people that are around you and can see you, sister, brother, there is a war going on. And to be a war. There is a battle. There is a conflict. So then, is it, is it okay to be unemployed and be at home? Or is it then better to be employed? It's just something small that I'm trying to do. Even the way people would address you at work, how they would talk to you. War unto the inhabitants of the earth. It's very heartbreaking. As a society for money, they wish they had gotten rid of you from your work. And that is what's going on. You are inhabitant of this earth. You are, what, you are what, renting. If you had stayed up there in heaven, it would have been better. But you are not allowed to stay in heaven. You are allowed to inhabit the earth. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. If you can talk, they'll complain about you being too loquacious. If you don't like talking to them, they'll complain about your silence. You see the kind of world in which you live. I cannot bring the full picture to you. You can add what you know about it already. Pick up your Bibles. Mm. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. The second book of Moses, chapter 14, verse 14. The greatest battle ever fought. Mm. You should know that God has not asked you to, to go and fight a battle on your own. That's why I began by saying that many times we waste our time to fight unnecessary battles and talk so much, which is unnecessary. Whosoever doesn't know the God that we serve is pitiful. That's why I escaped Islamic religion. That's why I escaped Islamism. Because I didn't know about this God. But there is a battle facing me that I was going through. papa <laughs> One time I asked my father that how was he able to survive in the world till his age? And he told me that if I want to survive, I should pray five times a day as a Muslim and read or recite my Quran. And I thought that if that is how it is to live in the world, then it's made easy. 
Those of you listening to me on the airwaves, the Quran is made up of 114 chapters. The last three chapters of the Quran. These three chapters of the Quran, the last three chapters. Quran no When you read and you read the commentary about it, okay, now It says that as a man, so you yo, nipa. When you try and you know you try to, to move along the journey of uh, uh, whatever that you want to do in this world. There are forces behind you. There are things behind you. Things. Gin. Demons, not gin travel. Money. And what they do is that they will pull you back. Now, you sign. As you try to move forward, bravo, press over the They are also busily pulling you. Massa, Ginny, and I'm money and I'm more sign. They will not allow you to eat the fruit of your hands. One casa, who bring more banu, or more money. Go unto the inhabitants of the earth. Asasi so ti fo munye. Ti mi hou sa na me kache mi papa de papa de. Se ne ti e di a na o kan koran ni hwa hwa e pan shu onro me hone di a. Asa. I know di a ni a no koran o bo a. Because mo a mo zo mo ni a mo na mo bi. So I I told my father that if we are all going through these things, then it's not true that just by doing my ablution and all these things will make me free. Because we are all going through the same. I will run out. Run. Me to bring. So I said that I would, I would, I would run to this God. Because this God is not the God of the Quran. He's not in the Hadith. So how do I get to? No, 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 no. How do I get this? So need some woman with the enemy. Me dem me hun say ni anku poin. Me dem show me oro me na ona me tuni me hunim ni manu me na ma kuna uradi we ya na. Am I going to see this God through performance of ablutions? Brother, sister, the Lord shall fight for you, my brother, my sister. If you want to fight the battle on your own, you can go ahead. If you think you can fight that battle, then go ahead. Moses says, The Lord shall fight for you. He's not only fighting for you alone. You will fight for your children. God will fight for your children. Can't you respond? Amen. Or can you fight the battle on your own? The of the earth. Many times you might think that you gave birth to your children, so you love them so much and you can do something for them, but you can't do anything for them. They are part of the woes of the earth. Just as you are going through the woes and troubles of the earth, your children will go through the same thing. Have you been able to fight for yourself? Let alone to fight for your children. Have you been able to accomplish what you set on your eyes to do? Mm. The Lord loves you better. He loves your children better than you. said God says that he will fight for your children. 
2 Chronicles chapter 20. Verse 7, I'm going to ask you, you need to read it. You must do me and stand it down so on. Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse thirteen, 13 to seventeen. To 17. Why is the Lord saying that He will have to fight for you? Now you are phoning in a general radio name. Won't anyone mark it? Why didn't know anyone? And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, their wives, and their children. The next verse. Then upon Jahaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaniah, the son of Jael, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And all can say, you done in any Jerusalem for any or any Jehoshaphat. Muntie. Say a radi esimuni. Amen. Mudie. Monstro. Namuakuma and two a dumbebre yenim. Amen. Na and ya mo. And ya wo. Amen. And ya me. Amen. And ya wo. Amen. And our sunny yamudia. Amen. The battle is not for you. The battle is not for you. The struggle is not for you. A pre -pre the contest, contest is not for you. I can't see any so, so why, why, why do you want to? Why? I don't know what you are calling. So, why do you want to fight the battle? That is for yours. And he said, Hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat. Thus saith the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. So stop fighting the fight. Just leave the battle. Sister, brother, sister. Leave the battle behind. It's not your battle to fight. Do you have the strength to fight this battle? Do you even know the one who's trying to fight you? Do you know the spirit that is indwelling that person? Oh, why you are there? Oh, sorry. Oh, come on. The battle is not yours. It's not yours. What is it? The battle is the Lord. Whose battle it is? Whose battle is it? And then keep the abasu, keep I can keep the abasu. Na e won yame. E won yame. The battle belongs to the Lord. E won yame. The battle belongs to the Lord. Yami aja, yami onba, yami hong kron kron di mi. Yami onfa onfa adumu, enko adumu. A Christo, son Christo, fo yami 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 yami. Yesu Christo di onyango pon poye to me kabio. In our tree language, in our can language, even the name of the Lord has been shortened and it's not making God's, God, God specific in terms of reference. But there's only one God. Amen. From voice of God. Now, what is happening in your account language? One word is capital G O D. And you have two separate words for one word. And yes, sir, Master, you are also going to learn the tree. I was questioned about how God is translated into tree and there seemed to be two words for it. And when I was questioned about it, I, I told them that they are going to understand later by learning the words. 
The battle is not yours. Tell your soul that the battle is not mine. If the battle is about your husband, tell God that this battle is not mine. You have children on the earth. You have children on the earth. Because of them. There is a war, a battle ahead of them. Sister, brother, Papa, mommy. But that battle is not yours to fight. After praying about whatever is going on, and just forget about it. Don't, don't carry them along around. Hallelujah. Amen. Inhabitants of the earth. As I said before, unto you. Munye. When you leave the church building to wherever you are going, don't go carrying the battle. You can't fight it. Let me add one more to it. First Samuel chapter 17. First verse Samuel. 47. First Samuel 17, verse 47. Three Nako, Min Kubio. From now onwards, I'm not going to fight the battle. Okay, I'm in view. If you if you talk to me, if you insult me, I won't mind you. I won't mind you if you if you, if you attack me. I won't respond to your attacks anymore. Because the battle is not mine anymore. The, the Lord says that the battle is not mine. Oh, Amen. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord does not say with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's. Tell yourself that I will not fight anymore. I will not fight this battle anymore. I, 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 I'm not surprised about your behavior towards me. I won't fight you anymore. Because Whoa, God told me when I was coming to live in the earth, God told me that woe unto me as I come to live in the earth. Philippians 1, 28 to 29. Philip of Wong, you might think that you are the only one who finds yourself in the battle. of the cross. Alone. If you are part of the soldiers of the cross, then you should know that you are a soldier. First Samuel 17, 47. Is it, is it? No, no, not Philemon. It's not Philemon. No, no, no. Philippi. Philipp Philippians, yeah, Philippians. Philippians, yeah. 1, 28 to 29. Good. Now, mama, I tell for a new who prepare mu. Amen. Hey, I tell for you a whole. Says that in nothing be terrified by your adversaries. Now, and no. Which is to them an evident token of perdition. Many times, you are intimidated by people and you accept the intimidation. They will come after you. Because God, God said that war unto you. So don't complain that why are all these things coming unto me? Don't accept complain. it. Jitum. It is part of living on the earth. Nenso, but to you, it is of salvation. And that it is of God. The next verse. Every set. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ not only to believe on him but also to suffer for his sake. Namuwo 
akukunonwa mugunono mimuno akukunonwa osmafu apo enamuno sawa slani no sawa kukunonwa and i want to so over for me having the same conflict which you saw in me and now here to be in me na fa mutese mi gusu e wo mu no and now here to be in me sister wa fri wo kun no mu have you left your battle brother wa fri wo kun no mu have you left your battle and i am answer to catch the rod is the rod me now say then say lord i thank you wo kun na to ntwa da o this battle never ends ko pim say until you die na to atwa then it will end wo mo mo no che man so no mba na say o da o no e say ya no mo asan ko ko to ho jeje shasam no mu de me na na twi no de me na na eku no wo nye wo ni wo bi o wa wu and when the your when your adversaries come to see you laid in state they are the same person they are the same people who go back to wherever they send the case to and and cancel the case philippians 2 25 Are you a are you a soldier of the cross? We are asenu ano ho osrani ana. And the anya won ko awate kan kan wa ko matro yem. You are not the only one who is a soldier of the cross. Philippians 2 25. Nso masusu ho se ehia se me soma e pafrodito. A o ye minua ene yonko dwumayefo. Any young cause or Sajaba, Hana Emmy Deno, fellow soldier, young cause or Srani, young cause Srani, who's all your Srani? I said, you know, Srani. Did you say you are a soldier of the cross? And you won't go. It's not, you are not the only one. Paul says, Yet I supposed it necessary to send to you a Paphroditus, my brother. and companion labor in labor and fellow soldier and we are no they are strong for mati beloved we are we are soldiers so you see about cause we kura asenu ya no mo dia if you are going to keep holding on to the cross brother sister brother sister onya ba onya bema wo ku a e wa asenu ya no ho no the battle that has to do with carrying the cross if god is not gracious to you you cannot go through it So lay aside yours. Lay aside all the complaints you have about your job. Lay, about, lay aside the complaints about the too much childbearing. Mammy, And you over to your city be me no. Sometimes you might be going about going to board a vehicle with your children and 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 then you might be con, con, you might be approached by the conductor or the mates asking you whether all the children belong to you or some belong to others. And you know say go kun ni ya urade kun a. Say wo kun ni ya urade kun a. And I say ka ya 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 kun pa. And am my mate ni kasa asem yi chire no a. So if the battle is not for the Lord but belong to us then what do you think would have been the reaction of such a person with children and being questioned that way Sometimes they will insult you as if you were a guinea pig And you know one thing say me be that now having to hear some of these insults inhabitants of the earth we are about to face these things i are there down see be shian you make see because that is the war the battle for you and no need oku e da o ma wo rade unza mi niba rade mi srawa rade ma me mo wai na na o sha asia cho 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 eight nine rade mi srawa rade ta so ma me wai I read the grand one you're confused. You started praying for children and then you began to give birth to children and you gave about 10 children and then you began to pray that God should hold it. Don't you think you are confusing the Lord? Inhabitants of the earth. Assassin so tefo. 
We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. A child to keep. And you want to sleep throughout the whole night without no getting up. Why didn't you stay alone? If you think that you don't want any trouble, you don't want any disturbances, then why did you even think of giving birth to children? About two, three, or four of them. Why didn't you stay alone without marriage? If you're complaining about your table that has been broken down by your children, or you have glasses or mirror in your room, you should know that they'll be broken down by your children. Other than that, keep them somewhere safe. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. So is it good to give birth or not? You think that your table is more precious than your Didn't you have the table before you started praying for children? And, and now cried that, unto the Lord. Now that that table, that ashishim, that what the idea of bomb of our head? Oh yes, they are. Don't they seem cry? What are the inhabitants of the earth? If you have children, you know what happens in the house. They will just crash things down. When you are to my be aye, who born or who put no cry or born? No matter how you punish them or, 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 or try to chastise them, they've broken your mirror or your glasses. There's nothing you can do about it. That's what it is with children. I'm advising you, to the inhabitants of the earth. Maybe it's better to just choose wooden furniture. Maybe with that, they can't break them down. They can just begin to draw many drawings on them. When you come back, you still meet your furniture. <laughs> If you come to my, my, my hall, the, the, the furniture I have, they are even older than many of my children. So if you come to my house and you are expecting something more than something of a glass nature, you won't meet them. Because of the inquisitiveness of children, if you have suffering chairs, the couch, they'll pick up blades and they'll begin to find out what is inside that is making it so soft and they'll cut them asunder. Many times we don't understand certain things, especially our younger ones who are upcoming. You want to have a very beautiful, nice hall, interior decorations. Go and get them. Keep buying them. And then your wife will be giving birth. They will give birth about one a year and keep buying things. You keep buying them. When they are toddlers, they are when they are baby infants, and then you are keeping them in your arms. You don't have a, a problem. Wherever you keep your things, they will remain there. Now we will have feet said they were down now so now one cover. Yeah, I bring it back to 
Why didn't you see her? You might forget that your, your, your children at a point in time will begin to crawl. When you go to the kitchen, no, they will fall after you. you. What unto the inhabitants of the earth? You might forget that your, your, your baby is crawling after you. So you might forget that even your child is crawling after you. You might turn around and mistakenly step on them. And then you begin to complain and murmur. But have you forgotten that as you have the baby in your arms, there will be a time that they will begin to grow and start to crawl around. Sometime my pastor, our shepherd said that if your children are not grown ups yet, you think that you know how to train up children. But allow them to grow. Then you see the realities. So no so young cook baby. And I'm quite be swa. Miss Slow. Catch that right is that right is so mano. No me find young pie bo. If you see that the children of your neighbor or your brother or sister are doing unworthy things, instead of complaining or talking about gossiping about them, ask God to keep your mouth shut and be praying Whoa. for them instead. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. As a society for moon ye. Especially this generation. The children of this generation. Because Sunday school. Now young foundation, Miss Ever Registan Golangola. And I'm Miss Akola back there. Only my dear friend Google. I could like it to have you. What's that? That I never be a set yard there. And you're funny, I set yard there. So one time I happened to be in the Sunday school and I asked um, a very young a kid about Google and I was surprised at the reply how he explained to me that it's a search engine. <laughs> After that I began to like the kid. Wherever I meet the kid, he begins to smile at me. Some of you parents here, or most of the parents with your children at the Sunday school, they've been registered on Voice of God's website, the youngfoundations.com. How many of you have been able to supervise your children to access the internet, to learn the message from those internet sites? It's a battle. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. If you don't have children, you are not part of it. As old as you are, do you even know how to search for information on Google? But your children, they know about it. Maybe Maybe you might go out to the inhabitants of the earth. You might be spending you money. You might be spending your money buying clothes, expensive ones, but you forgotten that even your children who are supposed to be trained in the message, they need gadgets, they need tablets, they need smartphones and laptops to access the, the message online. 
What about selling some of your things to get these things for them instead of complaining that you don't have money to buy them, but you've been able to buy clothing for yourself? Many times we, we tell ourselves that we don't want to get into trouble. Even after church, you don't try to go around shaking hands with brothers and sisters. You just leave the compound. How many sisters, how many brothers do you shake hands with after church? Let alone the visitors. I think you don't want to get into trouble. Do you want to live in this earth and avoid trouble? Can you live on the earth and avoid trouble? I think I'm going to go to the then you have to pack out of the earth. Because the servant says, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Because the word says that, Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Woe unto Whether you like it or not. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. 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 Woe unto the They will insult you if you have a pot belly and if you have a flat belly too. They will still insult you. And you're now in your senior and Israeli. Then maybe you're not a soldier of the cross. I send you an Asra for any day. Because for the soldiers of the cross. Hey! Galatians 6 17. Galatians 6 17. I send you an Asra for one. The soldiers of the cross. What is it? Now, a friend, eh? Mama, Pia, Hami, the soldier of the cross, no, Cassano. We are seeing your own strength. Mama, Pia, Hami, now, Miss Swell, Radi, yes, who are come. I bear the marks in my body. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Marks no one ever Where did he get those marks from? In this battle, you get strike. You you get. There will be marks on you. Every soldier, every good soldier has a man. Not, not those soldiers who run away from And yes, I soldier for no mudan in Tokwano, Debbie. What kind of soldier are you? We are Sereni Bayam. When you mass, I had you a nipper, dear moon. Just in a metal mass, or you travel over to me as well. Over to me, I can't. I want a nipper, dear moon. If your pastor reveals to you the things that he's gone through to you, can you bear them? Can you go through them? Can you carry them? They are Koso Akumamu. Things that are going on in the heart. They are Koso Ajinimu. Things that are going on in our minds. Nanga Pastor, as well, you have an oil. Papa, when you ask them to that, tell me, who's that, baby? Tell me, not, tell me, not, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, the mass of the conflict. <coughs> you might ask your pastor, that, why is he having those cars on the head, at the head? He's not have an accident, he's not involved in any conflict, but he has them. Do you have any mark on your body? Because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Also, Christo asem paninti. Kuchebi da unipedian mwana. Ah. Kuzi Yesu Christo na obedi nechi. Obesanya ba uboa. Yeah. He told me when I was leaving Islam. They said, do you want to go and follow Jesus Christ? You are kidding us. You come back to us.
you will come back to us. You just want some money. Do you have money here in this church? Do you have money here in the church? Is there any money here in the church that you, you give out? Because I still have the same furniture I bought, which, are, which is older than some of my children. I just run to the Lord. He's the mighty man. The chief captain. He's never been defeated. If you come after my children, you will fight for me. What if I throw her over? If you if you if you if you want what to take the root about, he's there. If you want to take the what root, below, he's there. What if I go to the left what route, he's there. If you go to the right route, he's there. If you go to the right route, he's there. He's gonna meet you. So where would you go to? Nanka me be tnasa la kete so na maya me nainse. Na maya me sati ya we na mbi atu se na maya se. Na atahe ya tule la wasalawat watayi matu asalamu aleka ayu hanabiyu. Assalamu alaikum, are you Hanabi? Or do you form Muhammad? No, what won? And I made Chiano. And I made Chiano. In Islam, what will form now? What prono? And I made this like a person, I made Chiano. Assalamu alaikum, are you Hanabi? In Islam, when you come, we are praying, we go down on our knees and, and we, we, we express or we send greetings to the Prophet Muhammad, who is even dead. Is Muhammad alive? Muhammad Tiasi. Well, what Tiasi and I say, Miss Yao say, Arab folk crack room, the enemy and Chiao binds them. Salam Wale, no Ajim, so I like a salam. Now, Muhammad, no, we are prono. Now, it is all like a tesso. Now, me, Sia Muhammadu, Sir, or the Sotiasiana. Well, you're omnipresent, Anna. Samia Yan or Ghana, no be Yan in Nigeria, no be Yan or Tachima, no be Yan. What in any other same time? What am I doing? You come to and the mosque or some they are praying. And you, have some some. and you hear people reciting prayers and they are, saying, they are saying greetings to the prophet who is dead. Is the prophet even omnipresent so that he would hear all the greetings from all over the world wherever people are praying in Islam? Is this not Hidism? Was Maybe might be thinking that you are growing up so old and you want to just accept any man that comes your way. If you go and you go through all those things, you will come back to us. You can't call on the dead Muhammad to come to help you. Even if you call on him, he can't hear you. Because he already told you. No bearer of burden can bear the burden of another. Let me repeat. No bearer of burden can bear the burden of another. Oh, no this one. Don't mean Johnny the Embassy. Who did? Come on, Hassan Idio. Come on, Muhammad was Hassan Idio. The Muhammad Prophet has his own burdens. And I want to so so dear. And you have yours. Oh, can't catch him on my boy. Why would you call him to come to your aid? Catch that was said. Well, that's zero. Wizard to no wizard. Oh, hara. No bearer of burden can bear the burden of another. Into oh burden, no mister of burden, be na fa fa wati. Amen. My uradi Jesus Christo die. What are you talking about, so? My uradi Jesus Christo die. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ. He has no burden. He has no burden. Sister, brother, sister, he says he, he, he can fight and deliver you. 
What kind of burden will you take to the Lord that he cannot take care of them? You are discouraged. You've forgotten about him. You think that he is like the prophet Muhammad? Or like the Lord Krishna? Or like Lord Or like Lord Buddha? Or you think the Bible is like the Quran or any of the Islamic That's why you want to fight for yourself. Come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. Come Come unto me. Come unto me. It doesn't matter whatever fight or battle you are going through. He said, "Come unto me, bra. Come, bra. Come." Muhammad cannot ask anybody to come unto him. No bearer of burden can bear the burden of another. So why are you worrying me? So even if he has not called you and you go after him, Obekatra will say, "Ono unto me, Jana. This one beswa wode." Amen. Amen. Once in the Quran, there was a blind man who went after the Prophet Muhammad for healing. He just turned around and, and, and just ignored him. But there was this blind Bartimaeus who went to the Lord Jesus Christ, calling upon him. And the Lord Jesus Christ stopped and turned around and said, Call that blind person for me. And he healed him. As I see so tefo, yenye. Brother, sister, there may come and be seen in an essay. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. Said the end of us as he was so no. The woes on the earth. What you for your back up? There is only one savior. Or what for your back up? There is only one helper. Eh, me man wa moko ko university, university. Ene wa wa for na mo ura ura mo ura ura. Me man man e me man me sramo. For all you who have been to the tertiary institutions, I want you to know that there is only one redeemer. And now I'm going to come and I have to cut it. Or tell me that in some way I could have mobile phone. No, but you could come and I have a phone. I have a phone. So 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 I have a phone. But I'm going to be. I'm going to be. Have you seen how they will be chatting on their phones with their tongues so active? They say, "Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth!" And I took me in the sewer. Obey, ye ye ye, say ya, no we free. They think that they can escape the woes of the earth through the internet and chatting and all those things. But they want me to come one by my man. Why? Let's keep praying for our children. And now, Omo, it's not their fault. I believe you, Omo, Drew, Omo. It's because of the time in which they find themselves. Sabre no na wo won ti asasi so. That time you were not on the earth. Wo wo pray so no na nti sa. There were, the things were different during your era. During your time, you were not so active or you were not using your time so much for what you are In our culture, in the Akan culture, it's an insult to use your thumb against anybody. Yeah. 
It's very funny sometimes when you see those who are wearing artificial nails, it's difficult for them to type or to use their phones. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. The Lord will fight for you. There is no disease that my Lord Jesus Christ cannot heal. There is nothing like incurable or chronic disease in the books of the Lord. Leave it unto God. Your, your weeping, your crying will not heal you. You are not a healer. But my Lord is a healer. Though you get into battles, if you want to give birth to children, as long as you want to give birth to children on this earth, you certainly face battles about your children. And so now to mean And you even lose appetite for food. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. When you get into such situations, do, 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 do not be frightened. Do not be frightened. And do not begin to think that there is no helper anywhere. There is a burden bearer. A faithful burden bearer. There is a faithful burden bearer. If you young ones have not heard this, and I'm telling you today, you will be a oyen no kwafo timi swa on this one. Hey, mo amu kosuku no. Enya ba biya ni edi sika ura o. Na da edi sika ura. Na 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 there is somebody holding the key of David. It will be Okra David Safwa. The key of David. Okra David Safwa. The key of David. Okra David Safwa. Every closed door. A probe of water. Every closed door. A probe of water. So what you see in here? So if he if he if he inserts the key, in case of Muhammad, who? I'm not asking to go to the Prophet Muhammad. Do not be attracted by the hijab that they are wearing. Do not be attracted by their golden tooth. If you know what they are going through. You know what they are going through. No better of bedding, better bedding of you. Be all no swan in this one. Yeah, do bit me a best one on this one. I am a babu abuni wa wa. I am move for money ready. Move for money ready. I am with the animal come go. Can you pass that one? Can man ya wa mu na mu. Certain places like no better or better can bear the burden of another. Be all no swan in this one. I want to mean Johnny the best one out there. I just have a way. I just have a. But what's the reason now? Ah, Papa we. Can you take your diseases to Mohammed? Call upon Mohammed, he can't help you. Don't 
So they don't waste time when they, are, they, they have dead bodies. They have to rush and take it to the cemetery. Raise up your hands and say, thank you, Lord. Beloved, we have a redeemer. Let's trust in this redeemer. Whatsoever we are going through in the earth. He's already warned us. But the chief captain is there for you and I. The chief captain is there for you and I. Wherever you go, whatever you go through, just go to him. Or your specialist. Or no, or your yard. He is a helper. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. Be on your feet. Now I am fired. This one can't put a name. Let's take our burdens to him. Dear man, how was it? Dear man, 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 Whatever burdens you have, just take it to the Lord. Whatever you are going through, the Lord Jesus Christ has already gone through it. If you are unemployed, there was a time he was also unemployed. I am not inviting you with your burdens to Muhammad. No, he has no answer for it. But my Lord Jesus Christ, he will never tell you that will He will tell you, here. come, come, come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. Uncut yourself. Meet me, I'm in the I'm in the swamp. I'm in the swamp. I'm in Talk to the Lord wherever you find yourselves. Just begin to talk to the Lord. What a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain. Wherever you've got into, turn around. Whatever situation you find yourself in, turn around. Wherever you left the Lord Jesus, that is where he still is, waiting for you. He's calling you back. No man can help you. Your own might cannot help you. All the academic degrees and whatever you have will not help you. Whatever knowledge you have acquired will not help you. Except the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's the one who is calling you to come. Come. He's the only one who can relieve you. Raise up your hands and, and pray. Commit yourself to the Lord. Say, Lord, I have come. Say, Lord, I've come. There's nobody who can help me. But you are Lord. You are the one who relieves all those that are burdened. 
So Lord, relieve me today. I've done all that I can with my own might. I've done all that I can with my own knowledge. I've done all that I could with my own wisdom. Nothing could help me. Lord, I've come to you. There is nothing you can do to please anybody. There is only one. It's to have the Lord Jesus Christ and live in you. If you have this Lord Jesus Christ, that is what is going to perfect you. That is your peace. That is your good living. That is your protection. That is your wisdom. I don't know what thing. That is your strength. I don't know what it is. That is your hope. Lord help us. Lord help us. Let's keep praying. Pray wherever you are. Why are you Elijah now? Right now, they were serious here. You are near a fat crowd. You are coming here. Okunkuni yada wasi. Say ye ye motafwa. Eradi. When ye when ye free and so. Ye ni ayen say ye mfata. Ye ni ayu asye ye ye tuchini. Wuna abaya wunam. Na abanya moja. Edi apata aji ya mkwa. Eradi ya mumu ye ni ye mu. Ugu so ton safre ye ni. Say a mra. Now be my home. And then I'll be a bit of a young coupon. Why, yeah, yeah, and a wolf friend. Pi won't say, Radim on to a neck. And then they and I and farm rose. My young man in twelve. So, Uncle To. And now, where you how we are here. Radis, yeah, Uncle and Crabiara. I just saw me a double be swap. And I did not join and assume me for another rade. Jennifer Moo. A radia says to be be anywhere at your da. A radia drink in a few muscle. Nay, a fear in so so. So, what's your corny? I owe corn. When I have a corn, my age. And then they write the book, and they write the book, and they write the book. They write the book. And they write the book. And they write the book. And they write the book. 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 And they write the book. 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 Be be an uncle, be any. Now you, ye, near fear, who too, so ye, said a slam from an air by Radian Warden. We are sick, when we are here. A summon more yet do a hair, a rather dummy. The kind of 
Now what you need to do is to say, we are saying, we are saying, we are saying, Tahan no tu yeswa se radi en fri huwa en mo dia. So baby yaria, when you yar safu, sama yaria. So baby abe mo abuya, e radi ne de shi ne de ne. E di abusi abusi ni na sha wansa, e radi di ni wa abusi abi emu. E di awari phone su sha wansa, e radi awari biara. Everybody, any and then they can ship him. The apple tour, many young Kenyan. The bomb pie of Concuni, the Wakwa, our fan would do us a mere shannon, shall one sat. And when you be a friend, my rather safe at Domino. A British Sachina or Twana Contio, so a whatema, the Jumma Jimmo, a rade, Mana Wadding. Fanny yet be be so dreaded when yam. A drunk one in a cashaw and sap. Titsu Yasha for Jesse Yamiche. Radibra all ye now what they in a radi is shine. Now so when ye are hoarding Shanaman one hoarding moon. Mamusana Cassio the so Radi Buano. Ne bushi ya shau nsa, ne yure ne ma ne na na nom, mo wenim panka wuni na hu, ne bua wom, na watu ibedi yenim, bua yeny. Yeda wasi, adofu ni ajidi fuwa manoni ni na yado ni na shau nsa, mo wenim panka wuni na hu, na rade fa ha ina tu onso, mo asam pa ha ina rade be bi bia ubeo biara ene dema enso nso, ne peja yenia. Say, Raddy, we are no coffee and pack. Yet I was a concluding Jesus Christ with him in your bomb pie. O me, Mumon can say, Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless all of you. Please be seated. Let me at once.